This is a very unique proof in that it asks that you use the angle addition postulate in a little bit of a modified form. So why don't you hit pause with that hint in mind and see if you can give this one a try. All right, let's see if we can do this one in five steps. So we're going to put down our given right away, and you probably already noticed in the given, but that the measure of angle TPV appears twice. The first time, it's equal to RPS, and the second time, it's equal to SPT. So I see a transitive property coming on. If RPS is congruent to T or is equal to TPV and TPV is congruent to SPT, then we all know that angle RPS must be equal to the measure of angle SPT. That is the ever popular transitive property. So let's see how that information helps us to arrive at our final destination. Now I said that there was a modified form of the of the angle addition property that's used here and let's dive right into that. So rather than saying this angle plus this angle equals the whole thing, we're going to add three angles together. So the top angle is angle RPS and the middle angle is SPT and the bottom angle is angle going to erase this equal sign here and sneak in a addition. The bottom angle is angle TPV and it equals the whole thing which is angle RPV. Now what I'm going to do using substitution is one at a time I'm going to replace this with that because here it says that those two are equal. Then I'm going to replace this with this because it says those two are equal. So I'm going to make two substitutions here and let's see what I end up with. I'm leaving the RPS alone but in here for SPT I'm putting in another RPS because we showed that they were equal in step two and here for TPV I'm putting in a third RPS because we showed in number one that they were equal. So it seems I need to go back and add that this is the angle addition postulate. And then I'm also going to add that this was substitution. Okay. Now if I have three of these things, then what I can say is that rather than the measure of RPS plus the measure of RPS plus the measure of RPS, I can say three times the measure of RPS is equal to the measure of RPV. And what I've done there is use the distributive property to do some simplifying. Terrific.